Good morning. Are you ready for your walk? Yummy, yummy. Good morning everybody and welcome to another vlog. I wanted to do a couple like days in my life this week. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Nashville and Kevin and I just finished a bar workout. I have been absolutely loving doing pure bar workouts throughout the week um, on top of the Holly Dolke workout guide that I purchased a couple weeks ago. And for those that are wondering, my sports bra is one of the Lululemon Energy high neck long line sports bras in this really pretty like baby blue color. I'm totally obsessed. Anyways, it's a really busy day today. My hair looks absolutely crazy because we just finished our class. So I need to like fix my hair first and foremost. I'm producing two shows today. Uh, I'm producing a weekly radio show this morning that I do every Tuesday and Thursday. And then tonight I'm producing a monologue show for another client. So lots of exciting things going on. I thought I would just take you guys around for like the next two or three days, depending on like where this vlog goes and if I think it needs to be longer <laughs> or not. But yeah, today's bar workout was awesome. I wanted to show you guys the Pure Bar workouts that I've been following recently. If you're looking for a way to take a Pure Bar class without purchasing classes or a membership, um, I do have a membership when I'm in New York, but right now it's on pause because I'm currently quarantining in Nashville. So right now I've just been going on Facebook and going on the Pure Bar Go Facebook page and just following along some of their live streams. It's been really great. And like I said, I actually got Kevin into doing some bar classes with me too. I honestly find that Pure Bar is so effective. Like my abs are on fire after every single class and not just my abs, like my whole body is just on fire in the best way. So it was a great way to start off my day, but now I have to get ready to produce. Luckily, since I'm not really on camera for this first show, unless there's like a tech issue, I don't have to put on any makeup, but I do want to fix my hair. I feel like my hair is getting so long and part of me really wants to trim it, but the other part of me just kind of wants to see how long it will continue to get. I don't know if you guys remember, but like right before I announced where I was going to college, like right as I ended my senior year of high school, my hair was literally like down to here and that was a little too long. So maybe I won't let it get like that, but I want to see how long it keeps growing. Also, I really need to touch up the red. I'm going to re-dye it probably in the next vlog. I want to do like another mini week in my life, maybe next week. I think I'm going to dye it next week. But anyways, bar class was awesome. I feel like my abs are popping right now, which is fantastic. Much better. So my hair is straightened. I put some oil in it. I feel like, yeah, it's just getting crazy long, but I'm not complaining. I mean, it looks nice and healthy and fresh. And then I threw on my like favorite crop sweater. It's just like my Equinox crop sweater, wearing my high-waisted Nux black leggings, same thing that I was wearing today when I was working out, and then just my everyday necklace that Kevin just got me, or not just got me, he got it for me for our anniversary last year, but I wear it almost every single day. Feeling better. I have to hop on the computer for the first show in about 20 minutes, so until then, I'm just going to respond to some emails for some other clients and consultations that I have later this week. Nothing new about this part of the vlog. I'm going to make a matcha latte with my favorite powder from Vital Proteins. That way I have a nice little latte to sip on while I'm running today's show. I'm so excited. It's almost ready. I'm going to do an iced latte today. Usually I do it hot, but I'm in the mood for iced. The best part of the matcha latte is the pour and then the first sip. I'm sitting in bed waiting to start producing my first show. I love that I can work from bed. We go live in three seconds. So I'm waiting and here we go, it's showtime. First show is done and then I just got off of another phone call consultation. I'm having a snack before I hop on another phone call and then produce the second show. So I'm having some apples, peanut butter, and honey. I'm hype. Hey girl, how are you? You ready for walk number two? Thank you. We're gonna take Dakota for another walk before I have another show. Thank you. She loves to stare out the window like this, literally for minutes at a time, it's so funny. Back in my producing office, AKA the guest bedroom at my house in Nashville, uh, producing the second show of the day. I'm so hungry, but I'm waiting to eat dinner until this is done. And then I pretty much have all of my work done for the day, which I'm so excited for. 
So work for clients is done for the day. We just took Dakota for a last little evening walk. What time is it? It is currently 8.01 and I was done with work around 7.30. So it was a really long day, but it was a great day. And now I'm going to hang in bed. I'm going to journal because I haven't journaled for a few days because I've been so busy, but I don't like not doing it because I feel like it really disrupts my routine and then I think I'm gonna start season three of Ozark because I haven't been able to watch yet we've been binging a ton of shows we watched Hollywood we watched Waco what else did we watch we finished the Americans so we've been binging a lot but I haven't been able to watch the new season of Ozark yet so I think we're gonna do that and then I'm probably just gonna get ready to go to bed because tomorrow I have another long day I'm producing a show in the evening and I have a bunch of prep work for it um, prior to the actual show starting Good morning everybody and happy Friday. Um, I just woke up, I ate a quick bowl of cereal. I'm gonna do my workout now. I actually have a really busy day today, busier than I thought because last night at like 10 o'clock, I got an email from my agent asking if I can film a self tape, get it in today by like one or two in the afternoon. So I have that. I've got two social media consultations with clients and then I'm producing a show tonight. Um, so I wanted to start off my day with a workout. Usually Kevin joins me every single day, but today he was tired and he doesn't like working out early. So I was like, that's okay, I'll do it myself. Um, I'm gonna do a Holly Dolky workout. It's ab day, it's like a 40 minute workout. I'm super, super pumped. Um, and I actually really like my workout outfits. So I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing, even though it's super simple. I know I'll probably get questions on it. By the way, apologies, the like basement is very cluttered right now because my mom is like going through stuff because we still have like, you know, just so many things from like, moving almost 10 years ago that like we just don't need so my mom has been decluttering a ton anyways I'm wearing my Lululemon Wonder Unders 28 inch my absolute favorite and then this little guy is from Beyond Yoga I got it at Equinox so stinking cute it's like the perfect sports bra if you're very flat chested because it's a bit more revealing but like nothing shows if you don't have a chest like me so it's super cute I feel like you could also wear it as a crop top in the summertime with like either just leggings on a chill day or maybe some cool high-waisted shorts I don't know I really love it and I feel like my abs are popping still from that bar workout yesterday seriously you guys like I have been obsessed with these bar workouts lately so I'm probably gonna do one tomorrow but I also love Holly Dolky which is what we're doing today so let's get to it I am done that was hard. I feel like I didn't sweat that much because it's really cold in my basement, but it was definitely challenging. Like my abs were shaking by the end and my arms were on fire too, which is great. It's so funny though, because even though like her workouts are high intensity, I'm still burning like far more calories doing a bar class. It's very interesting. I mean, both of the workouts are obviously effective because I've seen results from both. But I don't know, it's just interesting. Anyways, I am going to do like a seven minute makeup routine now and start getting ready to do this self tape because I just wanna get it like out of the way and that way I can like, you know, get the thing out of the way that's for me and my brand because then for the rest of today I'm working on other people's brands. So I just kinda wanna switch like gears in my head. And so uh, yeah, let's just get ready to do the self tape. Okay, so it's been a hot second since I uh, turned the camera on. I'm about to film my self tape. It's super gloomy outside, so I'm hoping that the lighting's gonna be okay. If not, I can always like adjust it afterwards, like with an editing program, but I'm gonna try with my camera settings and also the angle to get the best lighting possible. Uh, luckily, it's not a super long self tape, so it's not like they're gonna be staring at me and bad lighting for a really long time, but I'm gonna get this done and I can check that off my list. Self tape is done. It actually went okay. So now I'm gonna edit that really quick, turn it around to my agent and send it to her ASAP. Let's do a time check. It's currently 12.36. I have to get this into her by 1.30, so we are moving ahead of schedule, people. Just finished my snack and I've been watching a couple YouTube videos, but I think somebody wants to say hi. Look, it's Spencer. He's been like following me around the kitchen while I've been cleaning up everything and I just think he wants to be a part of the video. <laughs> He's seriously so sweet. He turns 11 years old next month. His birthday is like a week before mine, so maybe we'll have a party if we're still here. funny it's personable it's it's fantastic and it's not so 
I mean, it's still professional without sounding like a true actor's bio. Okay guys, so my phone consultation is done. My client is like super nice. So we ended up talking for a couple extra minutes. Uh, now I am going to eat a quick dinner before producing my evening show. I say evening, even though it's still very bright outside, but it's almost like, I think it's like 4.45. So we're gonna eat a quick dinner, get ready for that show. Busy, busy day. Taking a little field trip to go get the mail. This is truly the highlight of my day and probably the only time I will uh, be outside. The letter that I'm waiting on actually wasn't in the mail, but Kevin got mail, funny enough. Um, I'm actually not gonna eat dinner because one, I have to log on for this next show in five minutes, but also um, my mom made burgers tonight and totally cool, but I don't eat burgers. So I'll probably just make something when I'm done. I'm not really hungry because I had such a late snack, so, Maybe I just like will have another snack after this and not do like an official dinner today. I don't know. But I have like five minutes until I have to log on for this show. So I'm going to send one email and then get the show on the road. Kev, what'd you make this morning? An omelet. With what? Tell them. My hair is a mess. Well, they're not seeing your face. Just tell them what your creative ingredient was. <coughs> Mac and cheese and hot dogs. Hell yeah. And I have Big Lay. Hi guys, good morning. I slept in and then me and Kevin did a 30 minute ab day, which is great. Ava is, what is going on? I'm, I'm separating the yolk from the white, but I like forgot to do it, so boop, boop. <laughs> Anyways, we slept in. Now we're gonna feed Dakota some lunch and then take her on walk number two. <gasps> there she is! Go eat! Hi! Are you ready for lunch? Sit. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh. Okay, so we are back from a really long walk with Dakota. We took her on about an hour long walk. So we walked her a little over four and a half miles today. Hopefully she gets pretty sleepy for when we go over to my dad's place for dinner tonight. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what I've been up to uh, since I got back. As I'm filming this, and I'm trying to speak kind of quietly because I know my mom is somewhere in the house. As I'm filming this, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So we are having like a little at-home brunch with my mom, my grandma, my sister, me, and then Kevin, obviously. And Kevin's mom so generously offered to pay for brunch tomorrow which is so incredibly sweet so we just placed an order for brunch tomorrow everybody's gonna be so excited again it was so incredibly generous of her and so thoughtful and it's gonna be a great breakfast so we ordered from a place called big bad breakfast if you live in the nashville area it's super good i've been there for breakfast before with my dad the last time i was here in town so we just placed our order and uh, wanted to make sure that that got all settled and figured out I'm truly amazed that we were able to find a place that was still taking like Mother's Day brunch like takeout orders because pretty much every other restaurant is done. So we got super, super lucky. Okay, so I can't actually talk much about this, but I just got an email from a brand that I am a huge fan of and they just emailed me about a possible collaboration. So I'm going to email them back. I'm also currently watching um, Kenzie Elizabeth's latest vlog, maybe not her latest vlog, but I'm kind of backed up on some of her content, so I've been trying to catch up. Anyways, I'm going to send back this email because I can't even believe that, like, as a micro-influencer, they might want to work with me. Um, so I'm going to send that email and just kind of, like, then forget about it because it's nothing until it's something. And then, as far as tonight goes, we're going over to my dad's place, we're going to eat some Thai food. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera, um, but I'll probably wrap up the vlog when we get back later tonight welcome to the bathroom um so i'm gonna do my skincare routine i really am in the mood to do a face mask tonight but i already did the ordinary peel last night so i don't really want to repeat that two two nights in a row so i think i finally just got a new one of these in it's the uh dermalogica clear start blackhead clearing fizzing mask one of my 
all-time favorite masks this is my third time repurchasing it and i'm so glad to have it with me now here in nashville so i think i'm gonna do that it just leaves my skin feeling so clean and refreshed but it really like gets the job done without being too harsh on my skin my face mask is fizzing that's how this mask does its thing and uh, kevin's getting ready to uh, play some mario kart with a friend of ours who's in nyc that's um pokemon pokemon's oh i thought you were playing mario kart sorry um i was going to edit this vlog and then go to bed but honestly i don't really want to be staring at a screen anymore today so i'm going to read i'm going to read more of the book that i'm actually kind of doing a study on for a video coming up but it's really really good it's called the defining decade i've talked about it in a couple of videos already um so i'm going to read a couple pages of that take some notes for the video that i'm gonna make gonna, gonna make on that wow i really can't talk and uh, that's it we had a great night at my dad's place got some thai food watched um oh kev what is it called middle middle ditch and and yeah, it's super funny. It's like an improv show and it's really fantastic. Um, so it was very fun. And that's it. So tomorrow is Mother's Day. I think we're going to start another vlog because we have some like fun things planned. And then Monday or tomorrow night, depending on when I have time. I'm going to like dye my hair. So I'll include that in a vlog. It's going to be fun. But until then, Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you never miss another upload. I love you guys so much. Hope that you're staying safe, happy, healthy, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!